this seems to be the start of another trilogy of films in this uh, franchise and we're going to be talking about the kingdom of the planet of the apes and this film takes place in the future a few generations past a uh, war for the planet of the apes um this is directed by west ball um our cast here is uh freya allen lydia pickham uh, Kevin Durant, Owen Teague, Peter Macon, William H. Macy, and others are in this. And in this film, many years after the reign of Caesar, a young ape goes on a journey that will lead him to question everything he's been taught about the past and make choices that will define the future for apes and humans alike. And um, generally, I really love this film, dude. Like, like I'm biased, you know. I love apes, monkey, anything related. And we got that in space this year. Monkey Man, Kong vs. Godzilla. <laughs> now we got the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And I thought this thing was pretty cool as a launching point. Um, it does, you know, take a lot of stuff from the previous films and wove it into this narrative. Uh, we're kind of introduced to a new group of apes. But the legend of Caesar from those um, last three films, you know, indoors. Um, and it's kind of an interesting world. You know, we definitely got different groups of apes out here uh, operating, including our main group in this film um seems to be um a group of apes that is inspired by caesar's ideology but has also twisted it you know what i'm saying in a way yeah, yeah, to, yeah. To, to keep control um and our other group you know kind of has a conflict with them um they seem to be more peaceful more in tune with the land you know they they, they it's kind of interesting they have a relationship with these uh, eagles that they fly in, in their society and there's also the element you have in here where the humans are out here running amongst a uh, muck and um they seem to be the what's left over from humanity because in this world that virus killed a lot of people and the people that remained it kind of dumbed them down and made them more primitive in state you know mind state and all that stuff so so you've got that going on you've got you know the, I would say the Caesar um, apes. Then you got all the other apes out there around them. But but there's also war. It seems like the Caesar apes are just conquering the other apes. Like as you get down or you lay down. You know you can't just be out here by yourself. If we discover you, you've got to you know join our crew. It's yeah, kind of. Um, I listen to John Campia um, podcast, and he kind of put that towards like um, organized religion in a way. Like it's one yeah. message, and then. You get, Almost like the Crusades like, in a bit. Yeah, yeah. You got to get people to get in there, and they changed it, change it to benefit them or whatever. And mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Um, with what he had said on that, and and you see that a lot here because you know Caesar pretty much. I don't know. He was kind of wanting to work with humans because he was pretty much raised by you know mm -hmm. humans and everything, and. This group just, you know, yeah, they, it's Magneto they, and X yeah, all over again, yeah, man. Yeah, it's Magneto <laughs> like, like, X. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, the humans they're caught in the middle. Um, I'm not going to spoil too much, you know, more than that. I, I could probably talk about the characters and stuff because I think there's some cool stuff going on, you know. Once we figure out this um, this human story, but but we do know in, from in the trailer there is a human um, who appears to be. Different. unaffected by um you know what happens to the you know the disease it hasn't you know they're still intelligent they stand out and there's a reason for that i'm not going to get into but um what i do that, like about this is um oh go ahead, what did you say and that character's played by and i'm just not realizing um played by um fred allen who is actually in the witcher she plays um who's I, I can't think of her character in The Witcher, but it, it just dawned on me that that's who, who that is in there. Mm -hmm. She's um, yeah. she's um, Geralt's um, apprentice or whatever, or the person he protects. Okay. Yeah, but I, uh, I, 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 I yeah, but that's like the first thing I think I've seen her in. Yeah, but but what I do like though is like like I said, they fleshed this world out really good. They set up a lot of things going into the other film, and also the stuff that's going on here, um, in this film is just really cool in my opinion, man. We, we've got a lot. There's a lot of philosophical talk, which I appreciate, man. Like like that original film, that thing was definitely mostly like like it was probably about seventy percent philosophy, you know, between Charlton Heston and them apes and them just talking about things and there's a lot of that in here too especially um you know when we look at um 
uh, Peter Macon's uh, Rocket character. You know, I, I love his, his scenes, man, and the stuff that, that was going on with him and um, and Noah. Noah's our main ape in here. He's kind of like our Caesar in this franchise, it seems like, so far. Um, he's the one... His um, people are, you know, taken out, you know, <laughs> in a violent way once they bump heads with the Caesars. But then you look at the leader of the Caesar, Proxima Caesar, played by Kevin Durant. Oh, my God, dude. It's such such a great character, man. Like, like when we talk about bad guys and we miss, like, like this guy is one of the greats that I've seen in the last few years, man. Yeah. Looking at films, like, like, I love watching every bit of him doing this uh performance man it's just amazing just to see this guy brought to life the charisma um and, and like i said man you even see how he's i don't know if he's the guy that invented this warp view of what caesar had going on for all we know this could be the third or fourth guy that's just running this thing like like that's what's cool about this world that they set up man it just it just feels so fleshed out and lived in Gives me a lot of questions. It makes me want to find out a lot more too, man. You know what's going on with this world and where it could go. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of. Oh, good. Yeah, that's that's one of the things about. It. I told you what I thought about what was happening in this, but mm -hmm. I was completely caught off guard by what it was, and I'm kind of glad that it wasn't a predictable film. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, you know, yeah, most yeah. Of the time, yeah. Most of the time we go to theater, it. Oh. I really the last this last trilogy um, of mm -hmm. uh, Planet of the Apes has been real good. Um, Dawn Rise and um, War. Um, yeah, it was a, it was a <laughs> I, way I better, re, way better version of what um, Tim Burton had gave us. You know, with Planet, his Planet of the Apes because I, I pretty much mm -hmm. hated that film. But you know, yeah, when I, they, they like came it, back around and rebooted I, it, huh? I hated that film because I encouraged a lot of uh, me and my buddies to go. He was kind of deep. And then for that thing to be uh, like, <laughs> I felt bad for them, man. I was like, my bad, y'all. <laughs> Take the hit on that. But but yeah, oh, it does set up some cool stuff, man. Uh, one of the interesting things I read lately is they're going to on the when the um, Blu-ray comes out, they're going to have a vision, a version of it where it's just the actors in their mocap suits, okay. which is going to be nuts. I'm kind of interested to see, like especially like I said, man. You see what um, Kevin Durant. Uh, did with Proximus Caesar. I want to see how that looks with him without the makeup and just emoting and making those mannerisms and and like it, it, it's it's such good not, work, man. Not only that, you'll probably just see like a big green screen room because I wonder how much that, uh, that was like on site. Well, I think they said they're going to do the um um keep the 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 background and stuff the same, okay. but but you're going to see the. The actors are just going to be there with their green screens and stuff okay, there okay. Um, instead of the chip skins. You know, at least I think that's what they're going for, man. And that would look crazy, man. <laughs> Some of those scenes, I'm going to imagine. But overall, it is good, man. Like, like this is amazing because I think, man, ironically enough, I think um, they were saying that this film and um, had like a $160 million budget. And there's things that came out recently that were pushing like 200 million. Um, I think that Argyle spent like 200 million dollars. And I'm like, man, this film feels like they didn't waste a penny. And, 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 and this, and it's the thing too is a lot of people are saying, well, there's no really big stars here. And I'm like, yeah, but sometimes you could get more like 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 it's not like none of these guys are bad actors they might not be a-listers yeah, yeah, or people yeah. that are going to get 20 million dollars of film but they're solid cast and crew man like william h macy is a is a legend kevin durand is on his way to be be great man he's been doing some great stuff lately um and and and, and it just shows man with the care that the people had to um you know to bring this to life and put it on the screen like the, the effects are great man you're watching this world some of the um scenery it reminds me the the last thing that looked this good was probably a video game and outside of that it's going to be when i'm looking at the last of us on hbo yeah, and you're yeah, seeing some yeah. of the stuff they've done with this earth that's been kind of starting to be overgrown by nature and taken over with the negligence you know it's like yeah, sir, it has no, such a stuff that's pretty much just tree towers mm -hmm. and stuff yeah it, it yeah. just kind of make you wonder in some of those places where exactly where you were you know because mm -hmm. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, like they're that that part where they go into that, like, it's like an old observatory. You just like, man, this just looks so cool, dude. Like, it's wild, man. It's like, man, I need a video game in this world or something. You know, they should make a the apes uh game, man. Get on it. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, man, I had a great time with this. I'll definitely check this out. You know, once I get a chance to, uh, you know, purchase it. Definitely going in the collection to start my apes back up. Um, I do got to get war i gotta rewatch that one man because that one at least on that last trilogy as far as my order of best to worst is going to be dawn then rise and then war you know okay. not that war was a bad film but war is like a somber that thing is sad it's it is different. sad yeah i did a rewatch last week of other three films yeah, yeah. it's a different energy man <laughs> you know it's a different energy and on what, that thing Woody harrelson is the he he plays a uh asshole in that in that film mm -hmm. but he's good he, man when he he's an actor yeah he, you forget how, <laughs> how good of an actor he is because mm -hmm. i pretty much just yeah. hated everything about him in in that you know mm -hmm. what he was doing in that in that film yeah and that i think that's interesting about around this film because um this one didn't really have that human enemy and it was all apes man this this thing yeah. kind of what I really liked about it too was that it was mostly apes, man. There wasn't no human stuff thrown in. Just be, I mean, we do have this human character, but she don't, man. She don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? To, to yeah. like, to look gets to the way deep in it, and it's just, it's like mostly ape talk going on, man. And I loved yeah. it, man. Yeah. These apes was, they was aping their ass off. <laughs> it almost makes you want to do a rewatch of the originals, man, because so, that that's the originals, originals. It, it was it was uneven, but but there was some cool stuff going on in there, man. Like like the um the conquest of the apes, man. That's a wild movie, man. But but when you see um young Caesar, um uh, <laughs> you know doing his moves and, and 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 acting stupid to to overthrow the um the the planet, that shit is good, man. Yeah, <laughs> that shit yeah, is really good. <laughs> yeah, the um, I guess beneath. Um, the planet of the apes is like yeah, my beneath favorite. the planet that's, of the apes. Yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's when the humans were worshiping a bomb. You know, yeah, that, was that was the second game? one, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the second think, one. Yeah, yeah. Then it just gets wild. Uh, but they made, I think that seventies run. They had about eight or eight films or some shit like something I, I, like that. I, they were probably the only, only thing I didn't like about that series is is something they make mistakes with, like with most films. They start mm -hmm. lowering the budget, and and you could just see oh, yeah. how cheap they had gotten. <laughs> the mass, the mass yeah. start looking yeah. crazy. Yeah, the mass start work, looking yeah. like oh, man, I could buy that especially, from the Halloween store. <laughs> yeah, especially when like because I don't own um, any of the originals. I, yeah. I I had um like with my projector in my basement, and um still get, uh, getting discs from Netflix. It mm -hmm. looked, they were looking pretty crappy, you know. When you start mm -hmm. looking at detail you know bigger details on, on yeah, some of those like the mouth couldn't even move after yeah, a while. It was yeah, just, yeah, it was yeah. just solid and it just, i'm like damn you can see the hole where the yeah, <laughs> where the tongue yeah. was <laughs> yeah <laughs> no you yeah, know it's funny though I, I, by the end of those I was rewatching fucking uh, what was it? Uh, Return of the Living Dead, and when you look at Tar Man, and you can totally see his other his real teeth behind <laughs> the zombie teeth. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. this is wild. <laughs> yeah, man, it started getting like that. But yeah, man, definitely one of my favorites right. so far this summer, man. Uh, By the way, Priya yes. Allen played Siri in um in um in The Witcher. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that, that's um, the character who plays The Witcher. Yeah, but other than that, man, uh, yeah, man, that, that, it goes, dude. Uh, great film, man. Like, I definitely highly recommend this one. This might be my favorite one of the summer so far, man, out of the summer uh, rush of films we've been getting. Um, yeah. And, and, I and, and, the thing, and, and how they left and how they left this open, you really don't know if we're going to return to Noah or some other character, you know, because, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we can it, definitely do that. We yeah. can definitely jump around. Um, I feel like Noah might be the guy that we see this stuff going through, uh, but I don't know. Honestly, you're right. <coughs> and um, interestingly enough, there is a post credit grunt, and I couldn't figure out who that was. So I don't know if that's a clue of what's going to be coming. But um, you know, that's and, and people are like, is there a post credit scene? So give you a heads up. There's not really, but there's a post credit sound. I don't know if that's worth sitting through it for.